Guys, we are looking at the heat kit I showed on Working Joe's Roundtable's YouTube channel the other day. What we're going to do today is test the resistance of these heating elements so you can have a rough idea what to expect in the field. Now this will vary a little bit depending on the heat capacity of those elements. This particular heater is an HKS X08, so it's 8KW, so we'll test both elements. I have the wires disconnected off of the top element right now. And I'll run through a little bit about, you know, it enters here, voltage will enter here, and then exit on this side, and it goes through the one-time fuse and comes out. So we should have no resistance between here and here. We can double check that. I have the amp probe ACD4 here to check the resistance. I'm taking it down to the end setting. That's our ohms. I'm going to put one clamp coming out of the element. I got my clamp kind of turned a little bit. I was testing to see if the field piece heads would work with this meter and they don't really work. And we have one coming out of the one time fuse. And as you can see we have zero resistance. Which is exactly what we're supposed to have. So we can actually take this all the way over to here. So we're now going to test the resistance from here to here. This particular element has a resistance of 12.6 ohms. And the electricity going up against that resistance causes that element to heat up because it's not allowing that to pass as freely as it would in like a normal wire, like it would pass along this wire with virtually no resistance. There's a little bit of resistance in the element, therefore it builds up heat, sort of like friction. Think of it that way. So we'll test the other element as well. Alright, we're going to check the one-time fuse. Putting our leads on both sides here, on the jumper. We have 0.1 ohms, which is essentially no resistance, so that's good. We're going to move this the other side. After it exits the other side you can see it passes through the limit switch which we can check as well with ohms. And we have 12.6 ohms on this side as well. So you can see 12 ohms is a pretty average finding in the field. I think I found on between electric furnaces and air handlers I see them range a lot of times between 8 and 12 ohms. If you have one that's zero ohms, that's definitely an issue. That means some, there's some sort of short where it's bypassing that resistance heat. And if you have it open, typically that means that your heating coil on your element is broken in one spot. So that's some common resistances on electric heating elements. Like I said, between about 8 and 12. I hope this helps, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.